Hi, in this video we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface z equals y times the cosine of x minus y at the point 2, 2, 2. Solution. First thing we're going to do is write down the formula for the equation of the tangent plane, which is z minus z naught equals, and then here it's going to be the partial derivative of f with respect to x at x naught y naught times x minus x naught, and then plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y at x naught y naught times y minus y naught. So this is a formula for the equation of the tangent plane to a surface at a point x naught y naught z naught. So in our particular case, um, x naught y naught and z naught are all two, and z is our f of x y. Okay, so Let's go ahead and start by finding the partial derivatives and then we'll just plug everything into the formula. So the partial derivative with respect to x. So um, in this case, uh, when you're taking the partial with respect to x, you treat all the other variables as constants. So this, this is gonna hang out, but there's an x in here. So we're gonna take the derivative of cosine. So the y hangs out. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it's negative sine of x minus y, and then times the derivative of the inside function. We're using the chain rule because the inside function um, is x minus y. The derivative of x is one, the derivative of y is zero. So this cleans up to minus y sine of x minus y. Now we're gonna find the partial with respect to y. Now in this case, we're actually going to have to use a product rule because we have a product. We have a y here and then we have a y here. So we have a product of functions that involve y's. So it'll be, product rule says you take the derivative of the first, which is one times the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second factor. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it's negative sine x minus y times the derivative of the inside function, which is negative one, right? So you do have to use the product and the chain rule for this derivative here. Again, let me just go over that again. Recall the product rule says if you have, say, um, I don't want to use f and g, let me use h and g, and you take the derivative, h is your first function, g is your second, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So that's the product rule from um, calculus. So here it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first, and then times this derivative here. So this is a chain rule. Um, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so you take the derivative of the outside, you evaluate it at the inside, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of x is zero, the derivative of a negative y is negative one. So this is going to be cosine of x minus y. So here we get a negative and a negative, so it turns into a plus, and then we have sine x minus y. All right, we're in a good place. Now we can actually evaluate everything. So at two, two, right? x naught and y naught are both two. So let's see what happens. So fx at 2, 2. So we're looking here at this one. So it'll be negative 2 sine of 2 minus 2. So that's negative 2 sine of 0, which is 0. So that's really, really nice. Let's do fy at 2, 2. y at 2, 2. We get cosine 2 minus 2. So cosine of 0 plus 2 sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So this is just 1. Very nice. So now we're just gonna plug everything into our formula, which is written right up here. Okay, so let's do that. So it'll be z minus two, right, because our z naught is two, equals fx at uh, x naught y naught. So that's gonna be right here, zero, times x minus two, plus one times y minus two, right, because this is one and this is zero, right? Because here's this piece here one and then this one is this one. So this is z minus two equals y minus two. Add two to both sides and the answer is z equals y. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.